I've had this pressure tank around for a while. It, the bladder inside burst and I pulled it out to use it as a pressure tank for our garden. And we're not using it for that anymore, so I thought I would turn it into a fire pit. I'm going to use a circular saw here, and the blade that I'm using is actually designed for metal cutting. And I've done this before with water heaters and whatnot, and it seems to work just fine. I find wrapping the entire tank with a piece of tape after marking it off how high I wanted it helps me keep the line when I'm cutting it with the circular saw. Like I said, this pressure tank has been used in our garden for quite a while and once I cracked it open there was just a bunch of sludgy, muddy, rusty gunk inside so it's going to take a little bit of work to get all that cleaned out. I'm pretty sure the outside of this pressure tank is um, powder coated, which is a process that gets baked. So I'm going to assume that the heat of the fire shouldn't damage the outside of it. But if it does burn off over time, that's fine too. Now on the bottom of the tank, there was a valve setup that I just pulled off. And I'm going to put a piece of grating on the bottom of that to contain some of the wood and ash. Most of the ash should fall out and that hole on the bottom should actually create a nice draft to keep the fire burning really well. Now as a fire pit, this thing's not really functional for anything other than to have a nice fire. I suppose you could put a piece of grating over that and cook over it or maybe uh, roast marshmallows or hot dogs. But it's really just so you can have a nice little fire in your backyard. Alright, let's light this thing up and see how it works.